I welcome everyone to this lecture series on the course title Fluid Mechanics and Open Channel Hydraulics. Uh, before we begin, let me introduce myself first. My name is Dr. Ganesham Singh Urembam. Previously, I was working as a scientist in ICR ARS. Uh, presently, I am associated as Assistant Professor in Soil and Water Conservation Engineering Department at the College of Agri Engineering and Post Harvest Technology, Sikkim, which is under CAU Imphal. So that was my brief introduction. Now this whole lecture series is designed to fit into the syllabus prescribed by the Indian Council of Agricultural Research. And particularly my lecture series uh, is for the BTEC Agricultural Engineering students, but nevertheless the syllabus is open to all. So let me give you an overview of the entire lecture series which will be covered on the course fluid mechanics. As you can see from the screen, the lecture series will be covered in five modules. Uh, the first module which you can see from the left part is fluid static in which uh, we will study about the fluids which is at rest. Okay. Uh, that will be the module number one and after that we will come to the module number two which will be called as fluid kinematics here we will study the study of fluid which is in motion but without considering the forces causing the motion and another module number three will be term as fluid dynamics here what will we do is we'll study the effect of forces on fluid motion that means we will study the uh, fluid which is in motion also the forces causing the motion of the fluid okay so see the difference between this fluid kinematics and fluid dynamics here in fluid kinematics we will study the uh, fluids in motion without considering the forces causing the motion but in case of fluid dynamics we will study the fluid in motion as well as the forces causing the motion of fluid so this comprise the major module of the uh, core fluid mechanics and also we'll have two another module 4 and module 5 which will be uh, the open channel design and hydraulic as module 4 and the dimensional analysis and similitude as the module 5. So before we uh, begin with the introductory part of the uh, fluid mechanics uh, lecture let me give you a tour of the course or the study tour of the course that means the lecture series which will be included in the module 1. What are the topics, what are the contents that we are going to accommodate in, accommodate in this module 1 lecture series. So we will have a uh, lecture series on properties of fluid, ideal and real fluid, Newtonian, non-Newtonian and all those will be accommodated here. Also we will have pressure and its measurement, Pascal flow. We will also deal with pressure forces on plan and curved surfaces. Also we will have center pressure, buoyancy, metacenter and metacentric height. Last but not the least, we will also have lecture series on condition of flotation and stability of submerged and floating bodies. So these are the uh, content or the topic or the lecture series which will be included in the module 1. So now let us begin with the introductory part of our lecture. Uh, so, to begin with, uh, we'll start with the definition of fluid as well as mechanics. Now you see fluid mechanics here is composed of two words, isn't it? First one is fluid and second one is mechanics. We'll try to understand this separately so that we, have, we will have a better understanding of this subject. Now see fluid, I've given one statement here. Let's see this first. Fluid is a substance that deforms continuously under the action of a shear stress regardless of its magnitude now it's me kya keh raha hai what is saying here is so when we apply a force to a substance that force can be of any magnitude again okay? it can be 1 newton 2 newton 5 newton any magnitude so when we apply a force to a substance that substance will deform continuously this is as per the definition of fluid okay now if you look into the sentence of this definition, you will find uh, the initial word substance. Substance kya hai? So substance 
is a matter or you can uh, say that substance is dead matter which occupies some space it will have some infinite mass or it will be tangible tangible means you can feel it okay you can actually feel the uh, some matter and uh, there's also another term called deforms continuously so to understand this word deforms continuously you see uh, a substance is made up of a number of particles clear the substance is made up of a number of particles so if this number of particle changes its relative position with respect to time i'm repeating again a substance is made up of a number of particles so if this number of particles changes its relative position with respect to time we call that as a deformation in continued continuously okay you can say it is flowing okay so a substance that deforms continuously under the action of a shear stress regardless of its magnitude is called as a fluid okay now uh, let's uh, see more about fluid we already have the definition here now uh, i have mentioned one term called substance uh, which is nothing but a matter now matter can be of three types solid liquid and gas isn't it solid liquid and gas is the matter now you see from this solid liquid and gas which one is fitting into the definition of the fluid which we have just uh, understood now only now we see solid in case of solid if we apply a force okay it does not deform continuously it may deform but it does not deforms continually so uh, in this uh, explanation of fluid your solid matter is not coming into picture now you see for the liquid and gas now liquid and gas if we apply a small shear stress regardless of its magnitude it deforms continuously likewise for gas it, this uh, definition or this statement is applicable so we can say that both the liquid and gas can be considered by a common term called fluid so keep in mind that whenever you heard the term or you came across this word fluid it will be both the liquid and gas not the solid okay now we have understood what is fluid which is both liquid and gas we know the definition now let's try to sum up this topic fluid by defining some more properties of fluid okay so what does what properties your fluid will have it will have a mass then fluid does not have any definite shape it does not have any definite shape means it takes the shape of the container example say if you uh, pour a water to a beaker or a glass the water takes the shape of the beaker or the glass and again if you take that water and pour it into some other uh, container or the vessel it will take the shape of that vessel only okay so it does not have any definite shape rather it takes the shape of the container itself now the third properties a fluid can have is it can flow on its own weight now we see liquid and gas uh, we know that the intermolecular forces are weak in this one so uh, like uh, when we since the intermolecular forces are weak so when we keep a fluid it can flow by its own weight okay without much of a force also okay we know what is fluid now now let's see what is mechanics uh, mechanics is the if you try to define mechanics we can define it as it is a branch of engineering science where we study about the force and its effect on fluid okay i'm repeating again mechanics is the branch of engineering science where we study about the force and its effect on the fluid so fluid mechanics is what then it's a branch of science which deals with the behavior of fluids at rest as well as in motion okay we have understood now the term fluid mechanics now when we try to study this fluid mechanics or when we try to analyze this subject as a whole we will be using or we will be dealing with a lot of physical laws like your conservation mass momentum energy and laws of thermodynamics all these physical laws we will be using to understand more about this fluid mechanics let me also give you some one small differentiation between fluid and solid not that much now you can see i have given you one figure here on the left side this figure we i am taking a solid element first okay this ball dark one boundary is the initial position of your solid element 
now when we apply a force of certain magnitude here initially it does not deform okay now after application of constant shear stress into this solid boundary it deforms after overcoming its elastic limit so the solid occupies a solid boundary occupies a new boundary which can be given by this dotted line this also dotted line okay this is for solid now C come to the right side of the figure we have uh, this is for fluid element the solid boundary is the fluid which can be liquid or gas now see when we apply a small force regardless of its magnitude it deforms continuously as per the definition we have just known now see the first dotted line here this may be supposed up to two seconds of, of the application of force this boundary has deformed into this part so this boundary has deformed into this part see again after five seconds this this boundary will be deformed up to here this middle one dotted one and again this will be deformed up to this middle one likewise after some second more second with passing of time it will deform continuously what i'm trying to see here so this is just the basic differentiation between solid and liquid okay so let us start with the next topic which is properties of fluid the first properties uh, we will pick up is density or we call it as mass density and is denoted by the letter rho so what does it say it is the ratio of mass of a fluid to its volume and mathematically how can we express this rho so it is given as rho is equal to mass of fluid upon volume of fluid so if you try to see the unit it is kg per meter cube and the value of density or mass density of water is 1 gram per centimeter cube or 1000 kg per meter cube. This is a standard one. Okay, You can keep this in mind for your numerical purpose. Uh, the next property we can see is specific weight or we call it as weight density and is denoted by the letter small w. So specific weight is ratio of weight to the volume of a fluid. Mathematically, we have small w as weight of fluid upon volume of fluid. So, what is weight of fluid? It is nothing but mg. M is what? Mass of fluid and g is acceleration due to gravity upon volume of fluid. So, if you try to see this term together, mass of fluid by volume, what does it become? It is nothing but your density. So, small w is equal to mass of fluid by volume which is density into acceleration due to gravity which is g. And the standard value of this weight density for water is 9.81 into 1000 Newton per meter cube. You can keep this one thing in mind. The third property which we will see is specific volume. Uh, keep in mind that this uh, specific volume, this property is specially applied for the gases. Okay. So how, does, how do we define this one? This is volume per unit mass of a fluid. And if you try to express it mathematically, this is given as volume of fluid upon mass of fluid. And if we want to arrange, rearrange this, uh, so it becomes 1 by mass of fluid by volume of fluid, which becomes 1 by rho. So specific volume is the reciprocal of your mass density. And we have the unit as meter cube per kg. Okay, now the next property is specific gravity or we call it as relative density also and is denoted by the letter S. Okay, so how do we define this one? Specific gravity is defined as the ratio of weight density of a fluid or density to the weight density or density of a standard fluid. Here, in case of a liquid, the standard fluid is taken as water and in case of gases, the standard fluid is taken as air. So let's try to see this mathematically. First one we'll see for uh, specific gravity of liquid which is given as weight density or density of liquid upon weight density of water since this is the standard fluid. Similarly for specific gravity of gases which is given as weight density or density of gas upon weight density or density of air. Now uh, so thus weight density of liquid here the weight density of liquid is equal to what will become this specific gravity into weight density or density of water 
सो स्पेसिफिक ग्रेविटी इन टू वेट डेंसिटी ऑफ वाटर कितना है वी नो दिस फ्रॉम बिफोर थाउजेंड इंटू नाइन पॉइंट एट वन टू न्यूटन पर मीटर क्यूब सिमिलरली वी कैन ऑल्सो सी फॉर डेंसिटी ऑफ लिक्विड फॉर दिस वन डेंसिटी ऑफ लिक्विड सो डेंसिटी ऑफ लिक्विड विल बी स्पेसिफिक ग्रेविटी इन टू डेंसिटी ऑफ वाटर सो स्पेसिफिक ग्रेविटी इन टू डेंसिटी वाटर कितना था हाउ मच वॉज इट थाउजेंड के जी पर मीटर क्यूब so that was all for the introductory uh, lecture series on the fluid mechanics and to prepare the content uh, some references which have followed is textbook of fluid mechanics and hydraulic machine by dr rakesh bansal fundamentals of fluid mechanics by bruce armunson ef and th of pc and also i have followed some e course on fluid mechanics and some online lecture from the website that is all for the introductory part of the lecture and in the next lecture i'll still be continuing with the properties of fluid where i will be discussing with the viscosity and types of fluid so thank you all for watching the first introductory lecture series on fluid mechanics if you like the content please do hit the like button of my channel and do subscribe for any new update on upcoming lecture series and if you have any queries related to the content you can direct comment or dm me on my instagram which is as gramm thank you all